stay a while and listen. Here we are, another show, the week of Halloween, yes, the week of Halloween, <laughs> but for turkeys. <laughs> I imagine Thanksgiving is a scary time for turkeys. Sure, sure. Uh, but yes, so we got Thanksgiving, we have the eve of the Shadowlands expansion for WoW, we are post-launch of the Hearthstone expansion, we are post-episode 4 of the Mandalorian. There's a lot going on in the world. Yes. So how's your week been? Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm Ross. Nope, nope. And I'm nope, speaking nope. with Turkey Bacon Sticks we today. Did. <laughs> we, we didn't know. We, the people didn't, 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 did not need to know who we were. So, <laughs> What if they're confused? Because um, I've listened to a maybe. podcast where the two people's voice are kind of similar. And I yes. need that refresher. We should do what Conrad does on his podcast for like 10 minutes before he even gets to his podcast. He's advertising. I, I, I had to turn it off the other Home lending? <laughs> well, what I'm do like, you... my God, stop advertising stuff. <laughs> well, they have, uh, this is, obvi- I have. I do not know Akeem the mortgage dream um, in any way, but <laughs> obviously they have like that ads free show, uh, yeah. which I don't know. I think it's a lot like a Patreon where you get like you pay obviously but they have like all the shows with no commercials uh, but they have oh, so all they, kinds of bonus con like lots and lots of stuff that they don't put out under the normal shows see I, I don't like things that beat you into submission to make you buy something to get rid of the ads I don't like that dude you think Tony Schiavone is buying all those fancy sneakers to go with his dress shoes off Tony Khan money he's using Conrad money uh, for that uh yeah so Anyway, um, now, now my question is: What do you use? Does your podcast player have like a two-minute skip button or anything? Um, I use Spotify app. Okay, um, I have the app, and I bought the. So Apple used to have like a pretty good podcast setup through iTunes or whatever, and they went to their own podcast app. When they did yeah. that, it drove me crazy because it changed how stuff was working. So I actually okay. paid like two or three bucks for an app called Downcast. Um, so when I go into Downcast, what I like about it on the player is uh, it gives you at the top, you have a 30 second and a two minute skip button. So okay. most of their ads, you can do 30 seconds or two minutes and you're through the ad. And then it gives you, you can rewind 30 seconds or 15 seconds with just the touch of a button. So if you yeah. overshoot, you can go back just a little bit but usually coming out of the break, you don't miss too much. Um, but that makes them much more tolerable. Because I agree, there's a lot of ads. Um, <laughs> like, a whole bunch of ads some days. It just depends. Sure. Like, the Arn show yeah. has a lot less, I feel like, than Tony's does. Yeah. But either way, yeah. So, yeah, before we even roll the intro, we should just start plugging something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> some cereal or some blue chew. But, uh, yeah, my week's been all right. How about yours? Uh, pretty good. I'm trying to think. Uh, we uh, cleaned for someone this week that uh, is a, I'm going to say a test subject as opposed to guinea pig. But it was like, oh, yeah, I'm working with Pfizer for the COVID something. And I was like, yeah. vaccine? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Know. Uh, he, I didn't pry because, you know, he just went and sat at the other side of the house completely. So we weren't any, and he kept his distance real good. So it's like, yeah. is he doing like a vaccine trial or something else where he's been exposed to it? Are they doing like the vaccine with a weakened version of the virus versus a dead vi- Like what's going on? I mean, he wasn't like, you know, he wasn't coughing up a lung or yeah. showing any signs of sickness but it was still just weird he's like to point out that you're part of a Pfizer trial or something like that 
and then not go into a little bit more detail for people you're inviting into your home was a little bit weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. (laughs) Yeah, I made sure to keep my distance and, you know, I normally we try to lick the countertops to get those cleaner. I didn't do that in this case, so... (laughs) That's a joke. We don't actually lick the countertops. We only do that to the sink. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that was, like, the only real notable thing uh, for the most part for the week. So Yeah. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, other than a uh, pretty standard week that you would expect. <clears throat> trying to find new shoes, and it's really hard. Yeah. Uh, I oh, am, shit. yeah, it's got to be Velcro or Slip-On. And slip-on shoes, there are not very many of them. You have uh, officially become an old man now. It, they're so, it's so much better. The next thing, <laughs> I don't know if you remember these, uh, Sands about pants. Yeah. Are you familiar with those? Where they're like the yeah. semi-dress pants, but they have like a built-in elastic uh, stretchy band? <laughs> yeah. That's coming next. I mean, I'm already wearing like only stretchy, like whether it's jeans or cargo pants or cargo shorts. They're like the stretchy yeah. versions from Duluth. It's only a matter of time. And then I'll just yeah. always wear like a button-up bowling shirt. I'll basically turn into Al Bundy. There you go. <laughs> so, all right. So what do you want to start this week with? Because uh, we are... We talk a little bit about oh. foodies, uh, about our... Uh, yes. Our upcoming Thanksgiving stuff. Here we go. I'm going to, this is the closest, I still haven't done any kind of a food bumper, but. Why did Brent take your shoe off to eat that sandwich? I'm just used to eating the chicken sandwich. Uh, yeah, I actually got, so we didn't make the turkey the last week. Uh, we have plans for Thanksgiving uh, here in Ohio. Uh, it is kind of up in the air. I don't think they're going to just shut down like restaurants or anything like that, but they might. So. It's hard we, to say governors are morons, so. Uh, well. governors. Yeah, I mean, nobody knows what to do, or they, even if they knew what to do, I don't know if anyone would commit to it because they don't want the backlash. Um, so whatever. The uh, but yeah, so we, we have. Did have an what's that? Sorry, go ahead, sorry. Oh no, no, no we're, we did have. A, we had an interesting thing uh, last night because we had uh, dinner with my wife and me had dinner with um, two people who've had COVID. Okay, and they and they asked a very interesting question. Uh, that it's not being a smart ass or anything, but they're like, you know, we've had COVID. So, and we've gotten over it and everything. And uh, they're like, you know, but these rules and everything about not having people in your houses, do you just like process out of the number of people that can't be in a room together because we've already had it and stuff like that? No. It's a very interesting question. Doesn't work that way. <laughs> well, because um, we're, we're going to go down a murky path here because I, would it still needs someone's got to say it so yeah you would think that if people have it and yes. you're relying on the antibodies that you develop from an exposure or something like that that yes. those people would no longer have to wear a mask or anything like that but the reality well because there are like documented stuff of people contracting it multiple times um there's people asking the question though to that be like Not a lot not yeah. a lot, but yeah. No, but it's... They said early on they were curious about the uh, the length of how long the antibodies would hang around in your body, uh, which sure. I've never heard even brought up, but I only heard it mentioned a couple times, and now yeah. that more time has gone on, it's becoming something I'm hearing about a little bit more. But either way, sure. the question becomes like, well, if you're relying on the body and that, you know, like, aren't vaccines trying to replicate that how do mm-hmm. how we do how do we know effectiveness of that um sure so i don't know i just know that like i had a smallpox vaccine and i was never you know never had smallpox i'm not currently worried about it so uh i definitely don't want to make it seem like i'm anti-vaccine in any way but no. people there's questions there are people are going to be asking about this and it's like I saw a story where a guy had had it and he's like well I just got over it so I'm not going to wear a mask he was like even if we're concerned about the antibodies it's going to be three to four months probably before I would become at risk he's like I'm going to take at least a week or two maybe till Christmas uh, and yeah. not wear a mask because I it shouldn't matter at this point 
Now, sure. is that valid? I don't know all the scientific uh, stuff on that. Whoa, whoa. You mean you're not a scientist? <laughs> I, I'm not. So I have no idea how that works. But That's all as, right. as a layman, a it sounds like that makes sense to me. Sure. It's all right. The scientists that do know are paid for by uh, other companies, so it doesn't matter for anyway. So. Well, anyway. yeah, there's, there's lots of money <laughs> to be made everywhere around on it. Um, so get back to your, your Thanksgiving <laughs> yes. stuff. So yeah, so we don't know. So basically the turkey that I did not fast thaw uh, is going for a regular thaw at this point. And we will see how that turns out. But it's basically our backup plan if we can't go out. Um, I would not be surprised, like for Ohio, this is my thought. If they're going to shut down restaurants, if they're going to normally we get any kind of information on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I would think if they're going to all of a sudden, well, it's not all of a sudden. I think everybody would be like, oh, yeah, I saw it coming. If they're going to shut down the restaurants, they're probably going to tell us on Monday. Uh, it seems like you would give as much notice to restaurants as possible. Uh, because if you wait till the last minute in restaurants, they're doing like special turkeys or carry out stuff. Uh, like Bob Evans does like the carry out Thanksgiving meal. If you're not even yeah. going to be able to go there you probably want them to know a couple days in advance so they don't have a ton of turkey sitting out that is going to be ruined. Well, the problem is you can't shut down restaurants altogether. You can, you still have to offer uh, takeouts. Right, but for any of them, start. right, they can, uh, like that, or the places, though, that are doing, like, the sit-in as well, like, I don't know how they would handle all that stuff, but we're we're just going to have the backup plan of throw the turkey in the oven if we need to. Uh, Cause sure. we're pretty much the people holding like family gatherings on my side. I don't think any, like yeah. I haven't heard anything from anybody. Um, yeah. So we're not, I don't think we're doing anything other than just kind of hanging out. We're not necessarily big into the gatherings under normal circumstances, so it's not. It's true. Yeah, true it's, story. Whether it's, COVID's it's, around or not, my family's the same way. We don't really gather a lot. <laughs> yeah. So for us, it's like, oh, I don't know. We, we got this thing going on. We might want to hold off. Uh, so it's excellent for introverted type people. But yeah, so we got like, that's pretty much the extent of our plans. I tried to go out yesterday and get... Um, basically like all the stuff for any of the sides that I would make. Cause even if we still are able to eat somewhere on Thursday, uh, I might make something over the course of the weekend. And I was like, well, I'd like to have actual proper fixings if I'm going to try to do this. And yeah. did you happen to make it to a grocery store yesterday? Uh, my wife just went today. Did she have any stories to tell about the stuffing aisle? Because um, I will ask her. <laughs> okay. Because so I go to the store um, the frozen turkey section is a madhouse. People are holding yeah. the turkeys in the air like they're Simba. People are, excuse me, people are <laughs> gobbling to the turkey to try to divine the best turkey, um, hoping for answers from the turkey god. And so, I, I, don't, I don't know if you're joking or being honest. No, being honest, to be honest there, with you, I, I don't there, there was one person in particular, like there was a crowd, uh, but there was one person in particular holding the turkey up like yeah. rotating it, looking for signs of something that invalidates a turkey. I don't know what it would be. Uh, did you ever see the movie Clerks? Yeah. You know, there's the scene where the guy is like sitting in the, the egg aisle, like going through all the eggs or whatever, looking for the yeah. perfect set. That's what I felt yeah. like the turkey people were doing. Is, gotcha. But this one person was just so over the top that it, it was like, what if every one of these people was like that? Um, now there, I, I did exaggerate on the gobbling, but there is definitely like creepiness to it. Like, I don't know if you need to really look at the bottom of the Turkey. Is that, yeah. or maybe I'm a fool and, and I'm going yeah. to get poisoned because I didn't inspect the bottom of the Turkey bag. But then I made sure. my way to, they have like the, now I'm not going to buy like a loaf of bread and turn it into stuffing. I was going to get like one of the box stuffing things that you used to do whatever like to make the stuffing yeah. um, it was so full of people like and they were also gathered in a half circle uh, worshipping the stuffing boxes like there was like a half circle 
and yeah. everyone was staring. Like you could see, like people looking up and down, just staring at all the boxes. And then I, one person would step forward, and it was like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Like the one guy <laughs> so timidly grabbed the stuffing box as he yeah. turned. He somewhat looked at the other people, almost if looking for acceptance. <laughs> I, I wondered see, if someone um, would have went, oh, if he would have put it I back did, and grabbed a different one. I did see on Friday, because we went to the store, that I saw a person with a cart full of toilet paper. I was like, are we starting this up again? Yes, we are. And I went down the toilet paper. I started to to- went down the toilet paper aisle, and it's all cleared out. I'm like, my God, are we really hoarding toilet paper again? Yes. So, um, so ooh. I'm going to get to that, but back to the stuffing. So, yeah, the guy grabbed it, looked for approval of everybody, left the aisle. Next person comes in, they picked one up. They turned to dust from aging before me. Not really, but, (laughs) like, that's really, like, it really felt like kind of that scene, but for people picking stuffing boxing. Um, Yeah. Now, here's what I, so, we've, we've talked about many conspiracies on this. And uh, I read a book a very long time ago. Uh, it was actually by the guy who writes Dilbert, who talked about sometimes in media, you might run out of a story or there might not be anything interesting. So sometimes you can report on something and hope to create like a copycat criminal where there's really no yeah. issue about it because no one's reported on it. No one knows what's going on. Yeah. The last couple times I had gone to the grocery, no issue with toilet paper. Yeah. I saw an article pop up. Uh, where was it? It was like in the news tab or something on my phone mm-hmm. where it was yep. like, oh, people have begun to hoard toilet paper again. Yep. Now, yep. it could have been that there is an area somewhere else in the country, like, say, New York or something, where people started mm-hmm. hoarding it and it hadn't spread yep. to us yet. But now that that was something that we were getting in our area, I assume people mm-hmm. are like, uh-oh, I don't want to get caught out. Yep. Because it sucked last time. Because I yep. had a couple times where, like, I'd go every day trying to buy a four-pack of, like, the Camper RV <laughs> uh, septic-friendly toilet paper. Like, just anything to have something uh, that yep. wasn't, you know, like, uh, Scott brand paper towels. Because those are pretty rough. Are you saying... Are you saying the media is trying to cause panic? No, they wouldn't do that. I was thinking more with this particular one, perhaps trying to whip up a frenzy of buying no or Ross, or if you want to go that. further the Charmin <laughs> company or whoever was like hey uh we'd like to sponsor a really nice party for you guys just make sure to let people know they don't want to get caught without toilet paper this holiday season uh, oh yeah that's just that's just cra- i don't think anybody would do that <laughs> making money like no Taking advantage of people? No, no, no not, in, not in our society. Not preying on people's fears? No, people wouldn't do that. <laughs> the, uh, especially when money is involved. Um, I feel like we're both very tired of the way the world is going currently. Tired of the human race. This, this <laughs> yes. disgusts. Well, it disgusts me. As my wife uh, points out, years ago, I would constantly talk about, man, we have... There's so many people on Earth. If we could just get like a good plug going, uh, like in the a, olden uh, days. I watched, an, I watched The Office uh, a couple days ago, and, and there was an episode where where uh, Dwight says at the gym, he's like, <laughs> "There's just too many people on this Earth. We need a, we need another plague." <laughs> I. It makes me worry that I would be closer to Dwight. I haven't watched a ton yeah. of The Office. Yeah, but. That's something I've said for a while, mostly joking, but I think it's why I'm sympathetic to Thanos. Um, Sure. I want to, if somehow I used a wish to create the current issue, this is not what I intended. I would have had something that was swift and merciful. It would have been done with by now. Uh, Sure. So somewhere between this and the stand. (laughs) Not not whatever we have going on. Um, But yeah, so... We're going down a dark path. Yes, so we are. Let's <laughs> uh, bring it up a little bit. The, uh, but yeah, so that was my... Yeah, and there was no toilet paper to be had um, as well sure. at the store. So I might go back today, but I I just don't want to. 
I thing is, I have to get place. out before the church crowd gets out, because at least where I live, that's the worst time to be at the store. <laughs> yes. And then, yes, so that's it. Yeah, I don't really have nothing else to say. My wife went out and got all the stuff, so I don't know what she got, so... I hope that she chose the right stuffing. If she looks like a hundred years older, she chose poorly. Uh, so we get we get uh, we have cranberry sauce, deviled eggs, and uh, baked beans for some reason. Do that, you that is do, do you do the deviled eggs with like the mustard on them, like the half half egg or something? What then? So my sister in law is big on these deviled eggs, where it's like you cut the the egg in half. And then it was like yeah, mustard on it or something. I don't know. It's the mustard, mayonnaise, and uh, the yellow of the egg that you mash up and everything. And then that goes on an egg as well? I assume that's how you make deviled eggs. I don't know any other uh, way to make them. <laughs> okay. Then, yeah, that's yeah. probably... Deviled egg, I have no desire. As we've talked about many times, boiled eggs are the most disappointing thing ever. So I don't <laughs> care what you do to a boiled egg. It's going to yes. suck. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I'll, I, I'll stick I have to... No, I have no opinion on it one way or the other, so I, I have nothing else to say on that. You're weak. That's what it means. That sure. means you'll you'll give in to the deviled eggs at the first chance. Sure. You're like, I guess these are okay, but, but you know they're not. <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, let's see. I would like to complain about Blizzard products. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. We'll do this. Get over here! Time's up. Let's do this. All right. So, have you been playing um, either Hearthstone or Warcraft? I've played both. Okay. So, we talked a little bit about uh, where they did like the Battle Pass kind of deal or the adventure track, or whatever it is in Hearthstone last week. Um, I feel like now that I've played it a little bit more, or I've played Hearthstone a little bit more, I have a little more valid of an opinion. Okay. Really not a fan of it. Um, I guess they've already come out and made some adjustments. Um, I was watching videos on it as well, like on YouTube, trying to get... There's people I had no no clue who they were before watching some of their videos. And uh, one of the points that one of the guys brought up was when you look at the last couple rewards before you get to, I think level 50 is the one where you get like the, the cool portrait or whatever that you can pick. I, yeah. I hope you can pick, I hope it's not random because if it's a randomly selected hero portrait for you, I will be Thank very you. disappointed. Um, if I can even make it that far. But, like, some of the last ones, you got, like, gold, and then you got, like, a pack of cards, but, like, the pack of cards was, like, a previous expansion or something. Yeah. It wasn't even the current expansion. Um, So, I guess they've come out and kind of changed that. They switched some stuff where they just give you some gold instead. Um, Where people had done, like, the math for the time. Uh, You're playing hours and hours of Hearthstone a day to actually progress far enough. Uh, yeah. They have come out and said that, oh, well, there's going to be bonus events and stuff that will give you an experience boost on that path or whatever. Okay. Well, you know what would have been an awesome thing to to let people know about? What you're actually going to do for that. So we had, like, sure. you have some idea. Uh, yeah. Because I've cleared all my quests, and I feel... Like, I have not gotten the same amount of gold or whatever that I would get from the old system. Gotcha. Now, it could very well be that I've gotten more, but just looking through it is so frustrating that I could have, like, triple what I would have gotten before, but it doesn't really feel very good. Um, Gotcha. The other thing I can't stand is you have to open up the tab... And that takes you to the tab to where you can go to your various achievements to collect. And then you have to scroll down. You're, you have to hit the right one where your exclamation point is. 
then in some cases you got to hit another button then you got to scroll down then you got to hit collect and it just gives you your achievement points or whatever it is but you got it takes forever on each one of them like have you yeah. have you did you notice that at all like it feels like a chore to go in and just click buttons yeah it's not that fun to deal with you know what would be awesome you know how they have the uh, disenchant all extra cards or duplicates or yeah. whatever give me a collect all button yeah so that I don't have to go into every single tab because I don't care what achievement I got. If I ever really need to look, I can go back and look at the completed ones and see. Um, but yeah, it just not happy with uh, that whole thing. But I've played some fun decks. Yeah, I've played... Uh, the only one I've been playing is the Hunter deck. Uh, the Yogg Hunter deck, I guess. Have you had... Uh, have you ran into where the yog wheel would bug out and it would spin for 30 minutes? Uh, yes, it happened to me once and it booted me out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One person, I guess, like, they were able to sit with it for over 30 minutes before it did that. <laughs> yes. Which I do wonder, because I've had where, like, something's frozen up with Hearthstone in the past. And it's like, yeah. how long do I sit here and wait and see if this fixes? Versus just closing out and just relogging back in. Yeah. Well, and I can see where way. all of a sudden you've hit like the 10 minute mark somehow and you're like, well, if the game was actually still going, I've lost long ago. I want to see how long this will last now. Yeah. So, um, well, the, the place that we used to work at when it would bug out on me, mm -hmm. I'd be like, because, you know, we had like 30 minute lunches or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, hmm. I'm on a time limit here, so do I do I wait for this or do I just exit out and just take the loss or right or hope that it'll well like the reconnect feature is a lot better than it used to be. Used to be yes. you were pretty much guaranteed to loot like just take the loss. Now it seems yeah. like you can actually get logged back in pretty easy. Now I play a lot more on desktop though now than I do on my phone. Yeah, me too. Because uh, battlegrounds still my primary play is awful on uh mobile holy moly is it bad like it's impressive yes. um but yeah i have played so did you run into an issue where you had like disenchanted cards and crafted something and it seems like it rolled it back on you no that's a very specific question i know but so i'm almost certain that i had crafted the legendaries for the warlock deck that plays the card that burns uh, the you know burns five cards when you play it and then you play it again to like mill them out I'm okay. almost positive I had that deck made and then I went to, like I deleted it because I wanted to get a different version of it and I yeah. went back in and I'm missing like that card the Tychondrus or whatever its name is the one that actually burns the cards that you need yeah I know that I played that deck, and I know that it was one that I made, but I don't have the card anymore. But I do remember mm. I went to craft a different legendary uh, for one of the other decks. I think I made Cthune. And I was like, I didn't think I had this much dust. I guess that I just didn't realize it, so I crafted it, and now I don't have the other one. I'm wondering if there is some kind of like real small rollback at some point in time. I didn't, I couldn't find anyone else stating the same issue, but yeah. like I, I wouldn't bet like a ton of money, but I'd bet like a hundred bucks that I had made that card and was playing that deck. Cause I still had okay. the deck made, but it was showing like, you know, it'll show you the slash where it's missing cards, like yeah. 28 or 30. I had something like that, and I was like, I know that I I played that deck because I obliterated somebody with it. Like, I got as lucky as possible, and they got unlucky, and I was like, ha, 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 take that. But I I don't know. Like, I can't figure out what happened. The only thing I can think uh, of is some kind of rollback. Yeah. And then, like, I don't know. It just seems really weird. I don't think they've ever done a rollback with Hearthstone server, though. So I can't, I, have, I can't explain uh, it. It has not happened to me, so I can, uh, I can neither, Conf I, I can like, confirm your uh, suspicion there. It's <laughs> real possible that I just woke up in the middle of the night and then disenchanted a card and disenchanted <laughs> the wrong one. 
Like, that's more <laughs> likely, I suppose. Yeah. But, I don't know. If anyone else is plays this and has had something like that happen, let us know. Because it seems super out there, but... I don't know, but do you like the uh, like the actual cards? Like you've only been playing the hunter deck, you said, but like the decks you're coming up against. Um, yeah. Have you had like a good time doing it, or? Um, nothing's really annoying. I guess the Demon warlock hunter? is annoying. That keeps healing over and over and over again. Yeah, so that's a little annoying. Uh, because I've come close to killing. I don't know how many warlocks so many times over but they keep healing so i mean um nothing's as annoying as it, uh, like the, the the warrior uh pirate decks back in the day uh nothing's that annoying yeah where you'd get hit with like seven uh patches on the first turn somehow the, the only st- closest thing i could say that's annoying is probably the uh demon hunter yeah well we were uh because we were both playing some games i had like the I don't know if it's considered a control warrior or the taunt warrior, but like the yeah. amount of taunts I threw out on that demon hunter yeah. that they chewed through mm-hmm. and they eventually like, it gets absolutely ridiculous with that deck because I think I even filled the board with the evil clown or whatever. Yeah. I think that didn't, I want to say they cleared it once cause they used that stupid card that deals damage to all the minions or whatever. Uh-huh. Um, but I don't know. Yeah. That, that demon hunter, I could see that deck getting changed or something because the life steal is just gross. Yeah. Like turn three, I got hit for 12 damage to the face. That seems excessive. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Let alone when you're adding uh, the life steal weapon on top of it. So, um, yep. all right. Otherwise, uh, battlegrounds when I've been playing it, it's felt pretty good. Like, uh, previously, whatever, settings they had for it. I don't know if it was the heroes or like the card pool or whatever. Uh feels a little more normalized now where it's not like feast or famine. Like I'll yeah. I'll get like a fourth place finish and be like, oh that was that was fun. As opposed to oh man, I got fourth place but it's only because seven people got knocked out in one turn. And I just happened to <laughs> be placed right. So it doesn't bother me. As long as I get placed, I don't care how I get placed. As long yeah. as I well, I like placed. it too because I'm still hitting like fourth place and actually getting points now. There's that brief period where you could be fourth and lose points. So, yep. Uh, but yeah, I'll, so far, even though they've frustrated me with the rewards path, Battlegrounds is still fun. So, um, now I want to complain about World of Warcraft in this stupid okay. 34 slot bag. So, one of the rares. Uh, I don't even know what his name no. is. People just keep I, screaming I, "Papa Bag" over and over in chat. I will, uh, I, I will let you finish your, what you're talking about. But you know what? We we were really negative today mm-hmm. <laughs> for for a podcast about agony and positivity. Yeah, we were very. This yeah. this is the dark side of uh, positivity. <laughs> Got to get it all out once in a while, and then yes. we can be thankful for venting. Um, yes. <laughs> so there's one of the so part of this event which ends today because the expansion launches tomorrow, correct? Like, I'm not making that up. That's weird that it launches tomorrow. I or, think they're trying yeah. to make, like, a global launch a little bit better or something. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so this thing... <laughs> I assume because everyone's aware of Tuesdays being the shutdown day. That way, when they have to shut it down because there's so many bugs and everything, everyone's like, well, that's just, that's just normal. <laughs> right. Well, I mean... I, let me get rid of one rant first before I go to another. Um, so there is this guy who gives a bag and it's a 34 slot bag, which is, I believe the biggest you can get short of spending money Yeah. on the one, like there's a 500,000 gold 34 slot bag. I think that you can buy, but this dude, uh, Bronjam, the Godfather of souls, I guess like previously, um, he gave like a bag, so this is why he's given a bag this time. According okay. to Wowhead, which is basically the best source for information, uh, sh- like them and Icy Veins, I would say, are probably the top two. It's supposed to be about a 20% drop rate Yeah. for this bag. I have killed this guy. I can't even... I don't even know. I was actually looking for an add-on that could pull 
Or like, you know how sometimes, like, if you're trying to find out if you've done a quest, there's a quest ID and you can, like, do, like, a command in the chat and it'll tell you whether you've ever done that quest. Yeah. Like, if you ever had to do that. I was trying to find out if there was something like that for this rare to see exactly how many times I've killed it. But I looked at my phone for my alarms and yeah. I have alarms basically every three to four hours, uh, which is about his spawn time because Wowhead can, <laughs> will tell you like when he's got, cause they go in a rotation. So it's pretty easy to predict when he'll spawn. Um, yeah. so not only do I already wake up at horrible hours after, you know, I'll sleep like two to three hours and then I wake up all the time anyway. Um, yeah. During like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I have alarms set. This was last week too, uh, and then whatever I can get in during the week. So there's no way I have not killed this guy over twenty times. Well, and I have still not gotten the bag. If it, it is... makes you feel any better, um, my buddy and me uh, were out just killing all the rares out there, and it dropped for him, and he wasn't even trying to get, get it. So yeah, was it his first <laughs> time? First time trying to get it because that'd be even better. I think it might have been because we're we 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 weren't really looking for anything. We were just trying to do something. Yeah, and uh, we didn't know it dropped the bag. And he said, "Oh, hey, look, I got a bag." <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, I am. So it does drop. It does I, drop. Yeah, I, no, I see everyone get it. I saw one guy who's okay. like, "Hey, this is," and I recognized him because the previous time <laughs> it was like a sim- like a real similar name, where. Yeah. Like, I used to do, like, the first three letters of my characters were the same, and then I'll do, like, the an animal or something. So it was like, oh, it's within that guy's pattern. And he had, like, some yell macro. But, yeah, you could look, and he, like, got it two times in a row on different characters that I would be willing to bet it was the same guy based on the naming convention. Um, yeah. Because I'll scroll Funny. up and see if people are getting it, and it makes me it mad. Took, it took me, what, six or seven years to finally get the... Uh the rib- Rivendell Strathholm mount and you and me were just doing random things on the dungeon finder and it, it dropped for me so I mean weird yeah well the 34 slot bag like I was so I'm at the point because the next time it drops or the next time there's an opportunity I think it's like 12 o'clock today or close to one mm-hmm. so yeah. I'm going to try to make sure that I can make a couple more attempts today um, <laughs> I'm I'm allowing the drop rate for this basically to determine my main for Shadowlands. So okay. I'll try it once on my mage and then I'll try it once on my warrior. Like, yes. So whichever one of those gets it is probably going to be my main because I can't, <laughs> I can't decide which one I actually want to play. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of using that cause like I, I'm always going to enjoy mage, but the warrior has been so much fun. Um, and I have the speed gear set on the warrior. So when yeah. I want to go back and run old content, I can run real fast. My main might be, um, I think I might go hunter this expansion. I think I might do it. Really? Yeah. I have tried so many times to enjoy hunter. Yeah. And I almost wonder if the issue's been, if it has like that catch point when you start to level where it's not a lot of fun because you're missing things that you need that might be better now that they've redone the leveling process. Yeah. Like, can you recall if that was something or have you just had one at max level forever? What? Hunter. The Hunter? Yeah. Yeah. I've had one at max level for a okay. long time though. Every time actually, I... I, I have t- actually, I have two at max level because I... I leveled a Dark Iron Dwarf all the way up to a max level. All right. See, because every time... So that was recent. Did it feel like there was a point in the leveling process where you're like, oh, man, I'm just missing stuff that I really need for this to feel good? No, I didn't feel that way at all. Oh. Every time I've tried... uh, Because that's what I ran into. I got my Rogue to, like, 31. And then my strategy, because I was doing uh, Warlords, my strategy was going to be to park in the garrison... And then once a day go in and do like the mine, because uh, yeah. you can mine the ore and get experience. But I stopped getting okay. experience from the mine. Like I hit thirty one and it doesn't give me experience anymore. Why don't you just go and collect all the treasures in Warlords? Because I don't want to really play the rogue at the current level. 
well, I might try that because I have fly around now. And, yeah, just fly around, and get all the treasures, and you'll be max level in no time. Unless they nerfed that, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they did. They probably did. Well, I don't remember that the mine stopping giving you experience points, but yeah. here because I went out to the normal world and I did some like mining nodes, and it gave mm-hmm. me experience there. I was like, they can't possibly have thought there's going to be people who are just going to park in the garrison and then mine these nodes in the the thing once a day, and then they're going to get <laughs> max level without having done anything. We can't have that. There's no way yeah. that they would have nerfed that, right? Like, that's such yeah. a... <laughs> such a... There's no way... Like, I refuse to believe that they would have changed that. It has to be that I hit well, level 31, and for some reason it doesn't give XP anymore. <laughs> On a separate note, my uh, I'm, someone hacked my account a long time ago. Yeah. And they made a new character. I was, it was a warrior. And all they did was uh, mine, and they leveled that character all the way up to max level just by mining. Like just running around mining the ores? Yep. He had no gear on whatsoever. And all he had was his ore in his bags. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, because I've definitely, like, anytime I level a character, um, I always give them mining and gathering. Just because <laughs> yeah. that is, like, the... Yeah, especially when you're rested, that's like, uh, or it was like a 1,200 or more sometimes XP ding. So I would just do that. Plus, you could almost always sell like the old world ingredients for a pretty decent amount of gold. Yeah. So, yeah, I've always, so I could see where someone would do that. But So did you have to go through like a lot to get the account back? Um, so I did, there for a while I stopped playing World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. And we worked at a place where they said, Solomon, I thought you stopped playing. I was like, I did. Like, we saw you online last night in, I think, Twilight Highlands or whatever it's called. Yeah. I was like, really? So they told me that, and I called Blizzard and told them to shut it down. And they're like, yeah, you're on right now, so we'll just go ahead and uh, lock the account. And if you ever want, ever want to get back on, just give us a call. We'll unlock it. So it wasn't that bad. Lock it. Uh, I mean, I've heard a lot of people like get pretty immediate results. Like As long as you have control of like your email account or something or can yeah. you know verify your information it's not too hard so yeah um so you had mentioned where they're gonna have like the tuesday shutdown or whatever or tuesday maintenance well, that's what they normally do yeah right the uh is it at all concerning to you that even as part of this weekend they've been releasing hot fixes and such for the beta that's going to be live tomorrow <laughs> like sure I don't remember the week before the last, like before uh, BFA, and I could be misremembering this. It doesn't seem like they were doing nearly as much work on the expansion right before it launched. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think people should give Blizzard a little bit of slack there. With yeah. all the pandemic and everything, I mean, not having the people there and people getting sick. So I understand their issue there if there is issues you know if the expansion is not completely done yet i don't like this reasonable see both sides of the coins solemn (laughs) (laughs) well see you're being very (laughs) negative you're being very (laughs) negative today so i had to balance you out Uh, this is fair maybe that's uh, what we're doing (laughs) right uh a little bit of a role reversal hey you're not super negative i'm definitely more negative today than normal for sure yes um yes no, my only concern is just that this should be based on where they did the rotating expansion where one was good and one was not so good. This should be a good one, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I've had a good one since Wrath, so I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Legion was okay. Um, yeah, yeah, Legion was fun. I have noticed, yeah. though, that even with Legion, which was good, like playing through it the second time, it like all the order hall stuff, I just yes. didn't want to do it. Yeah, well, even like, when you get a mount and everything, that's, I still don't want to do it. I still don't have the the mounts that you got. I don't even know if you can still get them. Uh, yeah, you can. Maybe I'll do that one day when I'm higher level and I can totally dominate everything more than I already do. Um, yeah, yeah, because I don't even think my warrior. I don't even know how I got my warrior to max level now. I don't know if I boosted it or if I played it through, 
But I don't no, even do. have the order hall for my warrior. <laughs> you you boosted it. Okay. <laughs> I remember you saying, oh, I ain't, I ain't leveling this. I'm just going to boost it. <laughs> I was like, all right, whatever. Because I tried to play with you a couple times. And you're like, yes. yeah, play. I ain't playing. I'm just going to boost it. <laughs> it's like, all right, whatever, man. <laughs> I go play the game. Or the, just boost it. <laughs> it's funny because I'll boost like one character during the like the one that comes with it but then i'll use like i'll usually buy one throughout the expansion because yeah. something catches my eye and then i end up not touching it at all because i have a shaman that was that way the death knight i was really digging the death knight and yeah. then i think they changed something with it and it just stopped being interesting and then fury warrior felt fun to play i was like well this is really more You're, what i want uh... You're very fickle. You're very... Yes. I mean, I am a wrestling fan. So according to Daniel Bryan, <laughs> that is correct. I mean, I've stuck uh... with the mage pretty much consistently. But everything else I have is a dark iron dwarf because I. it all comes down <laughs> to that teleportation ability. Yes. I hate yes. feeling trapped. And like, I was looking at my, uh, my warrior. So he's the dark iron. I've got like three or four different random teleports. I got yes. Hearthstones. I don't need all that. Like, I was trying to convince that's, myself of that's that. That's what with... I'm saying. I'm like, why do you need to be transported that much? You don't play that long during a game anyway. You but get if... bored after I get... <laughs> oh, woo. I killed two mobs. I almost got this uh, oh, quest I'm done. I want to be able to transport the Stormwind five times during my one sitting. <laughs> I think what happened was, because when I finally just committed and was like, yeah, I guess I'm playing Warcraft, was during the Legion invasion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when uh, Rift invaded, basically. And yeah. it was such a pain in the butt to get from one area to the other. Sure. Where I was like, if I was a mage, this wouldn't be a problem. Sure. Yeah. And I think that just, you know, like you'll have like an event in life that it's not necessarily scarring. It's not like a trauma inducing <laughs> thing, but it like, yes. it makes you think about something every time you do it. Oh yeah. I think that put an unreasonable importance <laughs> to travel abilities with me. I need a hearth. I need the hearth. <laughs> <laughs> like you have two of them. I might use them both. <laughs> yes. It's like, uh, at work, there was an issue, like, there's a, you gotta add oil to one of the machines, and the, mm -hmm. I didn't get it put back on, so the lid kind of popped off. So now, and it made quite the mess, well, anytime I do that now, or I don't, I'm now super paranoid of that happening again, so I'm constantly yes. checking it. Because, <laughs> like, I'm walking by it, I know it's on there. But the three seconds it takes me to check it versus yeah. the three hours to clean it up if something does go wrong, like, I can't not do it. And it's almost the, the same, same thing. thing. Like the mornings when I leave my house, yeah, we have a garage door opener. I'll be down the road and be like, did, did that garage door shut? <laughs> and I'll turn around. I'll look at it because <laughs> I'll drive by and say, my like, the garage door shut. Right. And then as I'm driving by, it, my, <laughs> my brain's like... Well, what if you drove by it and you, because you clicked the button so many times, it rose the, gr the garage door back up and then I'll turn around <laughs> and drive right back. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm very similar. Uh, cause we have like the one car once in a while, the automatic locks, it won't work on the driver door, but it does everything else. So yeah. it's like, well, I think it's locked, but now I have to walk out there and check <laughs> and I yeah. hate it. Yes. Like that's the like, why is my brain like this? Stop yeah. It. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's like childhood trauma or anxiety issues for sure. Um, like I've never been shy of being wound tight. So, but yeah. Now for are you excited for the expansion? Yeah, should be fun. Uh, I am hoping, even though it seems like they've made changes to it, Torghast, the kind of like the roguelike <laughs> tower. I am yes. hoping that that is fun. You will get to level 60, and you will, be, you will be burnt out and quit playing WoW for a couple of weeks, or a couple of months. At the end... Knowing your, right, knowing your track record. Yes. <laughs> I will make it till the first patch. Yeah, okay. To whatever dot that. one is usually around when I dip out until the final... <laughs> like, if it's a four-patch yes. cycle, 
I come back almost at the end of the third patch. Yes. But right before <laughs> they do whatever catch up mechanic. So then I stop. And then like the first yes. week of the final patch, I jump back in. Is what's yes. been typically. <laughs> these these are your cycles, yes. Yeah, I mean it's a hundred percent like over time. Now I will say that whole thing Blizzard created that monster because the <laughs> warlords of Draenor like I went from playing Rift where I had like expectations of their patches and then there's always a lot of stuff to do because this was back when Rift was still good. Uh, switched yeah. over was like All right, I'm, I'm going to play Warlords of Draenor. It looks sweet. There's updated character models. I can be a warrior that has a sword and a shield and do damage. This is going to be great. Mm-hmm. All right, yep. our first patch. Here's a selfie camera. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Yeah. What? And that was it. Yep. That was, I think that's a slight exaggeration, but that was it. And I was like, yeah, I'm not paying for this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and then I came back sure. in Legion. <laughs> like, All right. Well, I think we're uh, I got like 15 more minutes. Do you want to go to uh, wrestling? Yeah, let's hit it real quick. Okay. Uh, let me make a mark. I think here. we ran it enough about the yeah. Blizzard products. <laughs> the uh, I'll see if I can be in a good mood next week. Um, all right, Dynamite is pretty much the only thing I watched. Um, there is tonight Survivor Series. They have I did been watched that uh, that contract signing with Roman Reigns and uh, McIntyre there. Yeah, I saw someone had posted it. I watched a clip of it, and they overplayed. Uh, I think it's either is the song or something like they mashed it up with like some song, basically saying that Reigns just obliterated uh, McIntyre in the promo. He did. He did. <laughs> the it, so um, I probably well, I mean, they're going to show it like a million times tonight, so I don't need to actually go out of my way to see the whole thing. But uh, a true so this is basically the Reigns that everybody thought that he could be. <laughs> And everybody wanted, and they're like, no, 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 no. And now that they've got it, even though he's like not a good person, if we had crowds back right now, he'd be the most cheered yeah. person in all of wrestling, quite possibly. Sure. And all they had to do is give the fans what they wanted. Yeah. He he plays a good bad guy. I, I like him as a bad I guy. I mean, that's how he started. And I have to assume that he has a lot more say and what he's doing now as far as, like, the verbiage of his promos. Yeah. Because it, it's very fitting. Or he's working with one guy, and there's some collaboration. I don't know. Because compared to some it's of the other stuff they've had him do, it's like, why didn't you guys just do this? We know that he could have done this. Some people are just more interesting as bad guys. than you know. well, yeah. well, and the thing is, like, he can turn this and actually be kind of like a good guy. Um, yeah. if need be at some point, but I mean, this is going to get him the, you, he will universally be liked after this. Yes. Is my, my thought. Um, but they've been talking a ton about the undertaker's farewell. Do yeah. you think this is going to be a legitimate farewell yeah. or is this going to be the undertaker shows up with Mark Henry's salmon jacket? And is like, I got a lot more gas left in the urn. We're going for one more run. Um, I, I don't care anything about the Undertaker anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is I, very I sad. Like the, I used to like the Undertaker. I mean, he still is a cool character, but my God, <laughs> well, now he's Mark. Now he's Mark Calloway, and he's on every show you've like. Yeah, you can't I, escape I the Undertaker. I just don't, yeah, I just don't care. Sorry. <laughs> the uh, I'm for my own <clears throat> take. I'm pretty sure he's going to have one more match. Like, yeah. it just feels like they've built it up too much for it not to end up being, like, a bit of an angle kind of deal. Even though it makes sense that Survivor Series, where he's debuted, that's the end of it. Sure. <laughs> I remember when he came back as the dead man, someone made the joke. like, he's going to have uh, one last run as the dead man, but then after that, it's like, time for one more ride as the American badass. <laughs> now it's about, one last go as Mean Mark. Yes. yes. Um, all right. So, but yeah, I'm going to watch Survivor Series probably, but I don't know. It was probably mainly for the Reigns match. 
I don't know if anything yeah. else. Well, and the hope that Miz will cash in and become champion again. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, all right. So for Dynamite, uh, did you catch any of Dynamite this week? Yeah, I watched some of it. Okay. Uh, I missed the first half of the Young Bucks top flight match. Did you see that one? <laughs> I watched some of it. I turned it off. I, I couldn't. I couldn't get into these guys. Just didn't care. Um, I didn't care anything about them. But just, yeah. I guess they did like a video package that might have sold me on them. But uh, yeah, I'll at some point I'll watch it. I'm sure. But uh, TH2 yeah. apparently is going to do something. I whatever. Um, yes. I want to, I want to like T. I have moved to the point where I really want to like TH2, but they need yeah. to do something significant before I can root root for them because I just expect them to lose. Like. All their dancing is, is awesome. Let me tell you. What dude? He does the Bernie. That's the best dance ever. That's one of my favorite things. Is when Angelico does that. It kills me. Um. All right. So we got. Uh, did you care? I could see you absolutely hating this. The inner circle in Vegas stuff. <laughs> yes, I, I did hate this. I'm like, okay. my god, what, what are we doing? <laughs> well, and especially because you like the more ruthless Jericho. I I like that's more so serious. I like I like my bad guy factions to be more bad guy. I, I guess I'm looking at I guess I'm looking at NWO and uh, the first gen, the Generation X. I don't know. Just, right. Not having a good time. Yeah, well, they're having a good time, but they're they're destroying people. So, right. Well, you know, eventually something horrible is going to happen <laughs> to somebody because there's no way MJF is not destroying the inner circle. Well, sure, sure. Because someone posted uh, like Sammy and Ortiz, like their expression prior, like at the beginning, like throughout the night, they get more and more irritated with uh, MJF. So yeah. I'm wondering if they're going to break it up into... Now, I don't know why they would break up Proud and Powerful, but like Ortiz, yeah, Jericho, stupid. and Sammy. Yeah. Because someone's like, I think they're going to... They now have... Because Pat comes back and he's with Death Triangle. Um, yeah. They're like, they're totally going to have a trios belt, right? Like for three-man teams. So... I would... Yes. I mean, it's, I'm okay with that. Um, as long as I they're think good. that's where they're going to go with all everything before the pandemic. Yeah, like they're going to build to it. I mean, it makes sense that all of a sudden Pac was or Pac was with uh, Lucha Bros. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Orange Cassidy does Orange Cassidy stuff. Um, at least uh, I'm wondering if we're going to get Miro against Orange Cassidy. Or if they're just setting up best friends against uh, Miro, Kip, and somebody else. I don't care. <laughs> just because the best friends are in there, I, I don't. Yeah. So you're not checking out uh, Chuck E. T.'s Twitch channel? No. <laughs> oh, you're missing out. He's a funny guy. So this is my this is my part of being negative, and you can be the, <laughs> yes. be the positive. <laughs> the, uh, I mean, again, I just... Uh, Chucky's physique drives me crazy for some reason because he's at that midpoint similar not as bad as Janela but where it's like he's not heavy enough but he's also not in shape enough like yeah. he either needs to lose about 10 pounds or just grab some chocolate cake and put on another 10 pounds one or the other yeah. I don't care which one um, I say as someone who has gone the put on the 10 pounds of chocolate cake route myself in life so um so we got this contract signing we talked a little bit of there's a bunch of conspiracy theorists on uh this one so kenny comes out with the cleaner entrance i guess is what they're going to be calling it um to sign the the contract for the december 2nd match which they're doing yeah. winter is coming uh so the graphic i was thinking lich king but i mean they're literally using uh, Game of Thrones. They, they are stealing... So I'm assuming their connection with Warner Brothers is why they're not getting sued. <laughs> right, or a cease and desist or something. Uh, yeah. At the minimum. But So, Kenny's out. They go to get, like, Moxley, but it turns out uh, he's been attacked backstage. Um, which shows why he never goes through the normal entrance. <coughs> because he he is a target 
to be attacked constantly. Yes. Uh, the thing of note here, and I don't know if it's really to be of note or if it, yeah. You know, basically, the way someone online had pointed out the way he was laying with his legs, they were in like a figure four position, uh, yeah. which usually, if you collapse, that's not a normal way for you to lay. Um, sure. If you look at a tarot card of the Hanged Man, which, you know, Adam Page is the Hangman, uh, that is the way the guy is hanging, I guess, or whatever. Um, like, that's the, <laughs> the exact same positioning of the legs. So, yeah. <laughs> either Moxley, f- like, decided to lay down really weird with one leg under him, or is an yeah. intentional thing to give a, uh, kind of like a clue about Hangman. Yes. Um, or... Now, this is my own theory. You know what that leg... What's that? Chris Benoit attacked him, right? No, no, no. no. (laughs) My theory is your legs would be like that if you were about to be put into a Texas cloverleaf. I think Dean Malenko sent him to Texas so hard he drove his face into the ground and busted his nose, and then he flipped him back over and left. So that's my thought, is it was Dean Malenko. (laughs) Uh, But... Yeah, so there's people talking about maybe Kenta uh, because they're going to do something for the U.S., New Japan's U.S. title. Um, yeah. But this person brought that out, and I don't know. I would I would be all for watching Hangman and Moxley murder each other in the ring, yeah. but I feel like they could hold off on that one for a while too, so I don't know. Or the more obvious thing young. is Kenny, <laughs> Kenny did it. And is just a bad guy. Yeah, or Renee Young did it because he spoiled that she was pregnant. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, she, she was so mad. The uh, yes, yeah. Congratulations to them. I guess if they're if they're, ha- I would assume they're happy. I don't know. Like there are pictures of them hugging each other. Uh, but yeah, Moxley just kind of lies. All lies. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> just uh, casually throws it into the promo. It's like, yeah. huh, interesting. Like that's a yeah, that's kind of weird. Well, I mean, there's no way that that news isn't going to get out, so it's probably better for one of them to say it. Um, well, on her uh, Twitter page, everyone was kind of surprised. So, yeah. Well, um, the only thing I will say is, and I, if I ever got to interview someone like Cody, for example, yeah. this is where the question would come: is because Moxley does a pretty good intense promo when his kid does something to get in trouble. Are they going to get the pro wrestling promo where they just have to sit there for like five minutes while they're like pacing back and forth, just going off on them? Like, did Cody deal with that? Like, if he, instead uh, of getting grounded, did the American Dream just cut a hard times promo on him to make him feel as bad as possible? Uh, who like, knows? I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely curious to that. Um, <laughs> so, but either way, I'm assuming we're going to get this match no matter what. And it, kind of makes it seem a lot more like Omega is definitely going to win this thing. Yeah. I mean, it feels that way to begin with, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, Omega supposedly has a torn labrum uh, in his yeah. shoulder. So mm-hmm. I guess he, him and Matt Jackson are playing uh, surgery chicken. <laughs> is what I would like. I bet my labrum holds out longer than your knee. I don't know. Yes. I'll yes. bet you $20. Um, so, uh, the bastard against the blade. There's a mm-hmm. lot of B names in this matchup. Uh, were you yes. excited to see him return? Yes, I like Pac. The uh, he's really good. He looks <laughs> like seeing him in the ring. You can tell he put on some size. Um, yes. Well, yeah. he's stalking people in parks and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those were awesome promos. It's a shame that yeah. everything happened at the timing that he did. Um. Because he was definitely losing his mind, and now it's yes. even more so. Um, yeah, so, but yeah, we get Death Triangles back, or Triangulo de la Muerte, whatever. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to, I'll just call him Death Triangle. That's way easier. Uh, but yeah, I assume that he would win this match since he came back. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're going to get Butcher Blade and Kingston is going to be a a group now and we got death triangle so oh my goodness so this is a segment that happened uh jade 
uh, broke Randy's arm. <laughs> the acting was so great. Let me tell you, I <laughs> need to see her in the ring, but yeah, like I feel like I was watching WCW in the in the in the later days. Yeah, this <laughs> this whole thing with her and Shaq and the Rhodes. Uh, I think, I don't know if you even caught it last week because you had to run, but I was like looking for things that I had strong opinions of. And my opinion of this whole thing was this is bad. And that opinion yes. carries over to this week's show where it was yes. like, thank the Lord that this one was short. <laughs> so I'm it was sorry. Like, this was a bad segment, but it was over as opposed to anything, last week. Anything involving Brandy Rhodes. If it doesn't have Cody in it, it's it's terrible. I'm sorry. It it just is. It, the, it's not good. I she's a good person. Like she can talk and stuff like that. I just don't understand how she ends up involved. It's like kiss of death almost. Yes. Yes. Much like uh, Sammy and Matt Hardy were cursed there for a while. It's like she has yes. the same thing going where just something doesn't work right with whatever they're doing. So, yep, hopefully this will turn it around. Uh, all right. And <laughs> super not, weird. Not looking good, but yes. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I have I have low expectations for whatever they're doing, but uh, we'll see. Again, because I go back to uh, Merriweather and, uh, or not Merriweather, Mayweather and uh, Big Show. I yes. thought that was going to be the worst thing ever. And when that yeah. match finally happened, that was like one of the better parts of that WrestleMania. I thought like I was blown away by it. So maybe, uh, that'll, that'll happen here, but I don't know. I'm assuming we're going to get like a mixed tag match and it's just going to be a, an awful, awful experience. <laughs> Hoping for the best. Uh, Serena yeah. Deeb against Thunder Rosa again. Uh, yep. Super, it's still weird to see like an actual other promote, like a real other promotion, yeah, have their belt defended in another promotion. I know in the old days that wasn't totally insane, but now it's just super weird. Uh, I mean, this if you're in, go ahead. I said, I like it, I I like, uh, I I hope that it continues. The uh, or heck at this point they can merge the NWA and the AEW women's title and have a full division and maybe it'd be better yes. I mean I will say AEW is getting better they're getting some new people in that can you know be in the country so that's going to help um, yeah, yeah this match was a really good match um, yep. and then the only I was a little bit let down about Britt Baker interfering so, she's another one. I'm sorry. She's she's not good. Uh, I need to see her a little bit more now that she's been back from the injury. Yeah. But yeah, she's. I mean, personality wise, she's fine. Now they did something on Dark where it's like the waiting room, and I I just don't know what I think about it. Um, yes. So we'll see. There's another one this week, and there's still a ton of potential, but. We'll we'll see. Um, we get. Talk to, uh, she needs to talk to her boyfriend, Bay Bay, <laughs> and get some uh, get some pointers. I think. <laughs> uh, I think it was like before. I honestly think from her injury, she was just like tentative about stuff, or like kind of pulling back on some things, like move wise. So, yeah. um, we'll have to like again. Like I'm. There's been a few. It seems to happen with women wrestlers more. Like, they get injured, they're out for a while, and when they come back, they've in ring, they're a lot better. Um, so I'm hoping that once we see Britt Baker in, like, a competitive match, that it'll be like, okay, that's, we're good. Like, you know, she's she's taking that next step. But uh, speaking we'll of, of that, we got somehow the current pairing of John Silver and Anna Jay um, is something I didn't know that was going to happen based off BTE skits because they had some animosity. But I guess he's going to help well, and be like a mouthpiece to her? Well, yeah, because Anna Jay is very awkward when she talks. <laughs> so. Yes, I would agree with that. Um, yeah. Although she does very good of not talking a lot. Sure. So you don't... Yeah, like it doesn't 
doesn't hurt, but um, she's going to get a title match uh, against Sheeta. I'm going to assume that Sheeta pretty much has good matches with everybody, so I'm yeah. real curious what's going to happen here. Um, also, congratulations to John Silver on being the second ever uh, being the elite champion, where he won the title from Trent from flipping a water bottle successfully three times first. Yes. <laughs> I hope when we get the John Silver action figure that he comes with the BTE belt. Um, That'd be cool. All right. So something we were basically waiting for one way or the other, uh, title match, or not title match, but the main event, uh, Cody and Darby against Team Taz. Uh, yeah. The match itself, match was fine, I thought. Uh, and then, but the thing that really mattered is Will Hobbs comes out at the end and has mm-hmm. joined Team Taz. He should. <laughs> yes. Well, I think we've talked on this. Uh, so In real life and in storyline, it makes more. It makes sense for him to join. <laughs> well, and I'm going to say, now I don't know if, if they intended this to happen, because there was supposed to be um, the match where Moxley... Darby and Hobbs were going to have against Archer, Starks, and uh, Cage. Maybe the plan was for him to turn then, but because Archer had to miss because of the whole COVID stuff, perhaps that kind of made them have to hold off on it, and this was supposed to happen back then, which would have made more sense, actually. Um, yeah. But with this, if you look at so Cody or Moxley both fall into the same thing. Moxley is constantly getting blindsided and is not exactly reliable to be a guy to watch your back yeah. uh, because he needs his back watched more than you. Cody yeah. is hard to read and is also very busy being an EVP. So also not the best guy to possibly be watching your back. Yeah. Darby is constantly throwing himself off bridges or down skateboard ramps or doing other <laughs> stuff where you don't even know if he's going to be able to watch your back week to week. Then on the other side, you have Brian Cage, Ricky Starks, and Taz, who actually watch each other's backs and are reliable. Uh, Not a hard decision. (laughs) Yeah. So I, like, and he even said on his Twitter, he was like, I hope something to the effect of this is all business and totally not personal. Um, I mean, business-wise... It makes, makes sense. more sense, yeah. I mean, yeah. hmm, do I want to get jumped every week and not know if somebody's going to help me and constantly have to save people? <laughs> yeah. Or do I want to be able to actually focus and know people have my back? Pretty well, easy. like in real life, so in in real life, I mean, I think it makes more sense to build his character up. So, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there he's, I mean, he's not like super young, but he's not an old guy either. There's plenty of time to build him up and again if they're going for the trios thing uh that's a pretty strong group right there uh yeah so because man i just wish ricky starks had a different finishing move um but all right so that's basically going through dynamite uh we'll have to see what happens i assume we'll get some rebuttal from moxley this week and then he can go do something and we can build to Omega and Hangman Page three years from now. Yep. <laughs> the, uh, but, so, right. uh, I thought about ending this today with a, the riddle, the Uh-oh. big book of laughs. Oh, it's right. It's, I still right by you. <laughs> you are, are you ready? Yes. I'm, it's been a long time. I'm going to be angry at some small children, alleged right. small children. <laughs> okay. What do you call, a cow that falls in a hole. Wait, what? A cow? Like a moo cow? Yes. That yes. falls what in do a you hole? Call a cow falls in a hole. Is It better not be holy cow. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's not even how that works. Maple Grove, uh, Minnesota, Maya. Yeah, well, you know what? Maya, much like the last <laughs> time we did this, that's not how that joke works. No, because <laughs> like White Castle used to have like a cow cut out because they have like the holes in their meat patties for steaming. So that was a holy cow because it was a cow filled with holes. A hole yes. in a cow 
That's not holy cat. No, that that's wrong. <laughs> All right, last one. All right. How did Saturn get Venus to marry him? I I can't even begin to guess. He gave her one of her one of his rings. <laughs> that one, while not as potentially as funny, is much yes. better. It's better constructed. Maple Grove, Minnesota. Uh, Lauren K. <laughs> yeah, none of the, none of those children are real. I just want to oh, point sure. that out. None of those sure. children are real. There's no way. What did the beach say to the tide when it came in? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> that you know, there's a guy at work that you could take this book to and give it to him. Yes. He would laugh hysterically at every single one of these. Cortland, Connecticut. <laughs> Catherine. Need to kick all, right. all those people out of whatever state they're in. Although they're probably older now, and if they are real, they can live with the shame of being in that book. Yes. Well, we hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. All right. And next week, we'll be more positive, most likely. Maybe. I mean, I probably will be because I'll still be eating leftover turkey, so I'll be tired. So it'll be harder to be as amped up. But all right, everybody. Have a good one.